hours of racing, a crowded 40 car field and the guarantee of multiple pit stops for fuel, tyre changes, adjustments and damage, a NASCAR crew chief has a lot to consider. It's all a gamble, right? So you, you're looking at how well your car is handling, you know, in the different traffic positions. There's a lot of these tracks where if you're in the front or in the lead, you're going to have better aerodynamics and it's a huge advantage to have the track position. So you're constantly weighing those decisions. You're weighing the tire fall off, what the driver's saying about the handling, and then looking at the big picture. If there's a line of making points and making a mistake, it's a big gamble and it's just knowing what the, the scenarios are in, in each way. While Klaus Meyer attempts to navigate the best scenarios for rookie Chase Briscoe, Mike Bogowitz is doing the same for Arik Almarola. It's definitely controlled chaos. Late in the race, a caution comes out. There's, there's many a tracks where it's a no-brainer whether you're going to pit or not, but there's other ones that the first thing is making the decision, am I coming or not? So then you say, I'm coming, and then the decision is, am I doing two, four, no tires? You know, what's the situation? The drivers may have an opinion, but even Kevin Harvick will defer to the pit box. For me, I've kind of just had to let that go because, they, you know, in today's world, you have so much more information on the pit box as to whether you need two, whether you need four, with all the radio chatter and what people have done on two and four. Before that, it is important how your car is handling, how easy it's been to pass, not pass. I kind of just give my feedback about the vehicle and just live with the decisions that they make on the pit box and support them just because of the fact that it's not easy to make those split second decisions. But I feel like if I interfere with what the decision is, it just really screws up the process and almost, if it goes bad, it just makes it worse. For the most part, I leave it up to him. <laughs> I try and not stress about it because there's too much going on. But at some point, you do have to kind of put your two cents in. As the driver behind the wheel, this is kind of what I need. Especially as it, you get more and more experience, you're able to make those decisions and kind of be able to steer the ship in the right direction for what you need. But it's organized chaos and you're just trying to limit mistakes is one of the biggest things. Once the decision is made to pit, then the next stage is execution, and that requires teamwork from everybody, orchestrated by the crew chief. That's the biggest thing, it's just, I'm gonna give him as much information as possible, rely on the spotter, just dictating to him who's gonna be on their stalls, what the lodge out for. So on the pit road, we're looking for tenths of a mile an hour and tenths of a second just in the pit road speed and, and putting the car right up against the limiter. So a lot of times the drivers are focused on that, getting into their stall. So I over communicate with them and tell them what's going on and what to watch out for. It's Eric finding his box, making sure he gets in, fits in the box properly, doesn't get boxed in by cars around him or something of that nature and then the pressure is on the pit crew, not making a mistake, not having a slow stop, did they get the proper adjustments done, not letting a tire get away and getting a penalty, and then us clearing them out of the box and him still having to run pit road speed and make sure he doesn't get a penalty for that. So there is a lot going on. Pit road is just, once you get that call to come in, you're getting 100% out of everything that you can get. Whether it's the speed, if we can go 49.9 miles per hour, we're gonna be going 49.8. <laughs> so you try and get as much of the speed out of it as you can, try and get into the box as fast as you can without sliding through it, try and gain traction coming out of the pit box, try not to hit people. <laughs> so it's just a lot of chaos, but you have to make every single little bit out of it to try and gain a spot on pit road. So it's just a matter of, me hitting my marks right and then also the guys doing their job behind the wall and I think uh, those spots on pit robe are, are just crucial.